Hey Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. I want to show you something that I've been doing in my rehearsal space that helps me with efficiency. You know, when you come into a rehearsal space, you want to be able to get to practicing as soon as possible um, because the more time you waste getting set up and all that is just more time, you know, you don't get to practice. So one of the things that I've been doing is I've been using these little clicker things that with their their remotes. So I have two remotes here. One has my speakers on them and I just click it and it uh, turns on my speakers. And then the other one has my lights on it. I just have a couple of kind of stage lights or you know colored lights to create ambience in the room. So I can come in here and I can click those two things on and uh, so I got my speakers so I don't have to go and reach behind and um, turn on the speakers I got my lights and then also right here is my mixer and underneath here uh, are my amps so I got I can flip those on and then I just uh, reach over and uh, plug my pedal board in and I'm pretty much set to go. So I got my iPad here with my drum programs on it where I can practice playing to the drums, uh, you know, set to different tempos for the songs uh, that my band plays. And um, then when I'm done, I can just turn, you know, unplug my pedal board, turn off my amps, uh, click off the speakers, click off the lights with this, these remotes turn off the uh, little mixer here and uh, I'm out. It takes me about, you know, 20 seconds to uh, turn on and off all my stuff and uh, I'm ready to play. So it's something that you might want to consider, you know, if it takes you 10 minutes or 5-10 minutes to get your stuff going when you get into the rehearsal space, um, that's time where you could be spent playing your instrument and singing. So I hope that helps. Rock on.